So today I'm going to show you how to test your internet speed using a few different methods. The reason that I suggest doing it like with more than one way is just so you can be kind of more sure about the number that you're getting as your actual uh, speed, just because some of them can be tricked or have problems or something like that, and uh, just so multiple ones gives you a better idea. So uh, two of them are like really simple, the third one takes a little bit more work, but uh, all of them will work pretty well. So the first one is just going to speedtest.net. I'll put a uh, link to this in the description, but it's probably the one that everyone knows, probably one you've heard of. But if you just go to speedtest.net and then hit begin test, basically what it does is it finds the nearest server to you, like the nearest speed test server, and then tests how fast your internet connection is to that. That can be a bit misleading because you aren't always communicating with a server really close to you. Like it's not going to necessarily tell you what your speed would be to a server in California. It's going to pick the one that makes your internet look the best. So um, it's not always like the best one to use, but it does give you a pretty good idea of where your internet speed should be. So you're going to get a few numbers here when you run the test. Um, your ping is basically how long a connection takes to get to the other server. So it's really important for like first person shooters or video games for your internet ping to be really low because that basically means like when you move your joystick how much time it's going to be before the server actually registers that you move the joystick to aim your uh, to move your person around or to aim your gun so that uh, basically if somebody has a really slow ping you'll notice them bouncing around like so a higher ping is bad because it's a longer time a longer amount of milliseconds a good ping is below like 40 milliseconds so then the download speed this number is in megabits per second and that's what uh, your internet provider will sell you. So like if they're saying you get like 15 megabits per second or whatever, then that's this number right here. Um, and that's what your download speed is. So if you're downloading files, then this is the one that really matters. So your upload speed is how much you can upload at once. So um, if you were uh, uploading torrents or something like that, then that's where your upload speed will really come in. Um, generally, they make your download speed a lot faster than your upload, just because most people don't need a lot of upload. The second option I'm going to suggest is uh, fast.com. This is basically another speed testing service set up by Netflix. And uh, the reason that they set it up was because they were kind of finding out that the speed test results weren't always that accurate, especially where most people are using their internet bandwidth to watch Netflix, but complaining about their speeds when speed test was showing that they had really high speeds, but then they were still getting a lot of buffering and stuff like that. So this is your connection to your closest Netflix server. And you'll notice that my number is a lot smaller here than it was on uh, my speed test.net. Like I was getting almost 10 megabits here, and here I'm only getting 2.3. Sometimes this jumps up a little higher, but I think it's basically that I just don't have a Netflix server all that close to me. But this is important because you can kind of judge how your video streaming should actually work from Netflix. So like it's actually even telling me that I had a problem contacting it. I can just do a, a refresh here. And so this time it's running a little bit better. I think I have pretty unreliable internet speeds where I am. Like sometimes it's pretty fast. Uh, I'm basically pretty rural, so that's uh, it's normal to see. You might need to run the tests a few times before you get like an accurate number, just because you may have the same problems that I do. So these are two of the easiest ways to check your uh, your internet speed, but then there's one more way that I think is a bit more accurate. It just takes a little more work. So um, basically, what we're going to do is download a torrent of the newest uh, Ubuntu Linux operating system. So torrenting is basically you connect to a whole bunch of other computers and you get the files from them. And the, like the problem with a normal speed test and everything is it's a really short thing and you're only grabbing from one server. With torrenting, you're grabbing from people like all over and it basically maxes out your internet connection. So you, and it does it for a long period of time. So you can really see over a long period of time how good your internet is. So overall, it's, it's pretty simple to do. Uh, first thing is you just need to go to ninenight.com and get a torrenting software. Uh, the one that's here is just called Qubit Torrent. It works really well, so you just click Qubit Torrent right there, hit get your Ninite, and then run the application once it downloads. And it's a really small file, uh, so it should just take a minute here. And once it's finished, um, so I already have it uh, running, so that's why it gave me the error. If you, for you, it would just say that uh, it was installed after it downloaded. So then to actually 
get the torrent, uh, we just need to go to Ubuntu's website. And then if we go to the download option right here and then go to desktop, then we need to go to the um, alternative downloads right here. And then there's an option for a torrent right here. So if we just click on the top one, basically, it'll download this .tor .torrent file. Just click on it and then hit OK. And then it will start downloading. Uh, if it shrinks, then you'll just need to hit show right there. Um, so now it's downloading this torrent. And you're going to get a number right here for your down speed. You can't really look at the up speed because that's you giving it to other people. And there might not be a lot of people trying to uh, download it from you at that point. So you're not always going to be maxing out your upload. Really, the download is the one you need to be looking at. And you'll notice that this number is quite a bit smaller than the number I was getting on speed test. I was getting 9 megabits right here. And that's because this is megabits, while the number given here is in megabytes. So it, this is 8 times smaller than whatever this will be. So you just have to keep that in mind that whatever you're getting here, multiply it by eight. So one megabit, megabyte per second is actually eight megabits per second. So if I'm getting 1.2, that would be 9.6. And that's pretty damn close to what uh, speed test was giving me here. So um, I find that this is a better way to test my internet speed because you'll see it's going over a long period of time and it's suggesting it's going to take another 18 minutes to download the file. So I can kind of keep an eye on it over 18 minutes. And then also if you go to the general tab right here, it'll give you like a download speed and it'll also tell you your average download speed. So over the course of this whole file, you can get a pretty good idea of what your internet speed is over a long period of time. And really those are the two best, the three best ways I, I've seen to test your internet speed. Uh, if you have any questions, just post them below. Um, once, once you're done testing your internet speed with this, just so the file isn't taking up a lot of space, you can see it's pretty big, 1.3 gigabytes. Uh, if you just right click on it, then you can hit delete right here and just check this box that, box that says also delete the files on the hard disk and that'll make it so it stops downloading and deletes the file off your computer. So uh, those are the three best ways to test your internet speed.